Hey, I'm Cora, a furniture guru with Kameco Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace pages in a PDF, but keep the existing markups that you've already created in Bluebeam. This trick really comes in handy if the floor plan has changed, but you've already spent a lot of time creating all of your markups and getting counts just right, you know, very specific items. It's helpful to just be able to replace the background page and keep all of your markups as is and then just update from there as necessary instead of having to recreate all of your markups on the new background page. So here I have a floor plan as it currently sits and I've already got all my markups in here for all these stations. I've got left and right six by eight stations highlighted and then I've got my chair counts for all these stations down here and then I've got my legend over here that tells me how many of each item there are. Let's say they want to delete these two clusters of stations right here by this central core but I've already done all this work with all the markups. Well what you can do is you can go down here to markups list, go to markups and export the markups and I like to, they save as a markup file. I like to put markups into the file name just so it, it jumps out at me when I'm trying to search for it and I know which one I should grab. So just save that. And then here's my new PDF with the new floor plan with these stations changed here. And same thing, I can go down here to markups import the markups, go find them where I save them. This one called markups and open. And it's, you can see that brings it all in the exact same way because I, the pages were both plotted at this, you know, this layouts were already set up. They are already plotted at the same location. So then I can just go down here and delete these, delete all these shares. Move these chairs into their location. Oh, let's delete that. So now I've updated it with the new layout and my legend is updated as well. And that was a lot easier to just fix those couple items there than have to then go back and redo all of this highlighting here. That showed you how to import markups onto a new page. Now I'm going to show you an alternative way by keeping the markups in place and just replacing the page behind the markups. So here I have my floor plan and I've got all of my markups in it. I've got all my chairs highlighted. I've got my six bay stations highlighted and I've got my legend over here that tells me how many of each one. But then let's say, for example, the client decides to delete these two clusters right in here. Well, instead of having to redo all of my markups, I can simply go up here to pages, right click, say replace pages. I've got a new floor plan that I've already created. Say open that and you can just replace one of one. So then the markups all stay the same and then you can see this is where the change happened. And then I can just go in here and select these markups and delete them. And then I can go back and add in more chair counts if I need to as well. So it's way easier to update when you've already got a bunch of markups in your PDF. That's a simple way to add in the new background and it doesn't take a lot of time. Thanks for watching. Hope the tutorial was helpful. For more furniture fun, head over to our tips and tricks playlist. And don't forget to subscribe below and comment and let us know what else you'd like us to cover. See you in the next one.